are you ready to take your love for Spurs to the next level? Because we've got some exciting news for you. We're amping up our membership program so you can get even more of your Spurs fix. Plus, we're giving you ample opportunities to show off your Tottenham knowledge and win some epic prizes along the way. As a Platinum member, you'll get access to exclusive shows, Q&A sessions, as well as FIFA content. You'll also have weekly chances to win We Are Tottenham TV merch in our weekly giveaways exclusively for you, our members. But wait, there's more. We're introducing members-only giveaways during our watch-alongs. So not only can you watch the game with us, but you can also interact and win some incredible gifts along the way. Talk about a win-win situation. And if you're a die-hard Tottenham Hotspur fan, we've got something special just for you. Our frequent Spurs quizzes will test your knowledge and reward the most passionate fan with some amazing prizes. And if that's not enough, you can even be part of our weekly fan shows and have your say on everything happening at Tottenham Hotspur. It's like being in the locker room with the team. Well, not, not quite that, but you get the idea. All of this epic content and exclusive benefits can be yours for just £12.99 per month. That's less than the price of a burger and a pint at the Tottenham Stadium. So don't wait. Join our We Are Tottenham community today and take your love for Spurs to the next level. Trust us, you won't regret it. Come on, you Spurs.
What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for the, well, I was about to say the third, but the second watch along of the Asian tour. And it's going to be the last one as well against the Lion City Sailors of Singapore. It's supposed to be against Roma today, but due to unforeseen circumstances, they will not be turning up and we will be playing the pub team. That is the Lion City Sailors of Singapore, which uh, follows on a absolute shit show, to be honest, of this tour. We started off really well against West Ham and then the second game got called off because of torrential rain and flooding in the and uh, waterlogged pitch and now we take on the lion city sailors in terms of the lineup we got it absolutely spot on didn't we sim we did just before we start though we just want to say there might be a bit of noise as there's some work going on in the roof above us um, so apologies um for any um inconvenience this might cause it's a bit annoying but we push on, we push on with the watch longer, but we did get the lineup completely spot on. Uh, I don't think it was a massive secret. Um, obviously, we went with the lineup that um, uh, that was basically put out in training. Um, I guess the bigger decision, I think, was probably Skip or Saar, Skip starting the game against West Ham. But we went with Saar. Um, but yeah, the lineup, do we have it? Or we're we just going to go for it? Yeah, we'll, we'll get there it on. And, yeah, go on. Um, there it is, Vicario in goal, Porro, Romero, Davis, and... Oh, we've got two Davises playing today. Well. It's actually Ugogi <laughs> at left back. Uh, Basuma, Saar and Madison in a three with Kulisevsky, Son and Kane up front. The bench reads Austin, Royale, Regulon White, Perisic, Tanganga, Solomon, Devine, Richarlison, La Celso and Pierre-Emil Hoybier making up the substitute bench. No Tanga and Dombele, Jed Spence, Joe Roden um, again in the and match and Sanchez. squad. And Davison Sanchez in the match day squad. Um, so they all miss out. I think it's a good lineup. Um, it, it's interesting how the Sp how Spurs have structured the lineup. It implies size in the six, whether they did that on purpose or not. Um, we'll guess we'll have to see, see when the um, teams come out. I think it's a lineup not with no big surprises. I'm excited to see Poro and Udogi together. See how they get on, um, and I want to see Madison get more involved. But unfortunately. Um, if it was Roma, maybe we could learn a bit more from this game with it being the uh, Lion City Sailors. Look, I guess the only plus side is they're, they're in their current season, apparently. So they should be more competitive. They should be a bit fresher. So the challenge comes fitness-wise. But quality-wise, obviously, we should be rolling them over. Yeah, exactly. Um, even if it was our first preseason, I know it is our, only our second, um, we should be rolling a team like this over even if they are at their ultimate peak of fitness. So I think it's a game that we can't learn too much. I think it just should be a bit about a bit of fun today. Hopefully we'll see quite a lot of goals. Uh, we'll see some good football. And um, it's just always great to see Spurs play, isn't it? And especially when Ange Postacoglu is at the helm. But what about... Um, <laughs> it's never a day without calamity at Tottenham Hotspur and all, with all this news about coming out with Joe Lewis just yeah. comes like since Ange Postacoglu has come to Spurs I mean it's just been one thing after another I, hasn't I it I feel for it man he's got a lot of shit to deal with and this whole news of Joe Lewis is going to be another headache especially if you know if uh, the press are asking him about it in press conferences and things like that in terms of how it should affect Tottenham themselves like as a team and how the club is run in the short term anyway I don't see it affecting things or shouldn't affect things unless the one indirect problem is do um, are the hierarchy going to be distracted by this kind of news and then all of a sudden um, is it going to be harder to start bringing in players there was supposed to be some sort of there was a potential some sort of cash injection is that going to be on the back burner now all these questions are up in the air um, as it comes to um, the, as it comes to the financials in terms of the club itself like, I don't think the stadium or anything else is or anything like that's in jeopardy. I don't think that that's going to be an issue. So hopefully the players can put it in the back of their minds. But it's just an unwelcome distraction, isn't it, all this news? Yeah, I mean, I can't really see it affect the footballing side. But what I can see it affecting potentially is the commercial side of uh, Spurs and potentially maybe some NFL, uh, the deal with the NFL and stuff like that, because we know that they hate to be involved in anything negative whatsoever. So it could really, put, uh, like... Um, impact those kind of things in the commercial side but in terms of the footballing side right now as as of what we know right now i don't think it will affect too much it's just a distraction mm. that's all it is just an unwelcome distraction when we should everyone 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 should be fully focused on um the task at hand getting ready for the season and then all this news start coming out you know is it going to distract the hierarchy as well from what well, you know they should be um, um handling you know big transfer deals negotiating for things and it's, I'm not saying it's going to stop that, 
but it's just a distraction that we don't need right now and it's not good PR for Tottenham at all um, it does call into question more of the um, ownership suitability to owning this football club for sure for me anyway um, and it's not good news all round does it as well start to um, you know with all the I wouldn't say the, I wouldn't say the Enoch outs have stopped, but it's definitely there's been a good feeling around the place since Andrew's come in, and there's been a bit of excitement for the season. But does this put the ownership back in the back in the front line and back on the, in the spotlight again? And it might well do, and it, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what happens. You know, when the season starts, um, how fans react to it. Yeah, for me, I think that uh, my feelings on the ownership have, hasn't changed. It hasn't changed since Ange Postecoglou's come in, even though there's a good feeling around the place, which is great. But I think uh, the ownership still need to come under massive scrutiny the way they run this football club. And uh, this just compounds onto that, to be honest. So um, I think this is kind of, I wouldn't say a win for everyone that's Levy out, but it's definitely uh, maybe a step in the right direction. But we'll have to see what more comes to light because we don't really have too many details right now. And I'm sure more will come out. But I imagine this is going to be a very much a long, drawn-out process. So I don't think we're going to be finding out anything anytime soon. I wouldn't call it a step in the right direction. Um, but I would call it... Because well, there's a difference between not being happy with how they run the footballing side of the business, well, of, the, of the football clubs, sorry, and then the owner or the, uh, or the person who was the owner when this happened being found or being indicted, we shouldn't say found guilty, being indicted for criminal charges of um, insider trading. These are criminal activities that are against the law. That's completely different. The, the, I don't think Enoch out people have been unhappy because they feel like the owners have been breaking the law. And now now there might be a chance that, you know, that's a different case. And then all of a sudden there's a moral issue, not just an issue with how you feel about how they're doing with the footballing side. And that I, adds even more pressure. When I say a step in the right direction, it, I mean um, in terms of the people that are Enoch out and Levy out and all that kind of stuff, it maybe will bring more people over to their side. It will heap more pressure onto them. Um, uh, yeah, it should do that. It should so definitely uh, that's what pressure. I mean by step in the right direction in terms of uh, through a Levy out lens, through should, an Enoch out lens. It should definitely put more pressure on the ownership, in my book, anyway. I don't. I can't see how it doesn't. Um, I think it definitely calls into question their suitability. So, um, yeah, look, that's all we've got. So there's not much more to say on it right now. We'll have to wait and see how everything plays out. Um, it's not going to be an easy... A uh, few, however long it takes, um, while this is going on in the background. But let's just hope it doesn't affect, um, you know, any transfer business or any like sort of um, business Tottenham need to conduct in this window because we need to get ready for the season. Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of getting ready for the season, we are five minutes away from mm. kickoff, people. We've got 1,500, well, over 1,500 people in with us right now. So I want to know what your score predictions are. I want to know if you're happy with the lineup. I want to know where you're watching from as well. So maybe let's get the lineup up one more time. So we, can, if you weren't here with us when we did announce the lineup, we can announce it one more time. So uh, the lineup is basically the same lineup as we did predict. I mean, a lot of people go 200, 240 nil, 135 nil. But no, the lineup is Vicario, we go Porro, Romero, Davis, and Udogi in a back four. Bisuma, Madison, and Saar in a middle three and Son, Kulisevsky and Kane up top. Well, we uh, who, did see what well, Bayern win 27-0, didn't they, the other did, day? We did, yeah, <laughs> we did. I think three or four players uh, all got hat-tricks that day. Uh, it would be nice if we could see the same here, but uh, Bayern Munich actually have a history of battering that team over mm. 20 goals every single season. So, um, look, I wouldn't... I would, I would love to see uh, that many goals. It would be great to see, but I don't know. We'll see. Do you think uh, we're going to see two different lineups? Yeah, first we will. And second half. We will. I think Ange pretty much confirmed that. I think if um, if the Leicester game had gone ahead, I don't think we would be seeing that this game. But he said because that didn't go ahead, um, he needs to give everyone more minutes. So he said it's going to be most likely a 45 minute um, half for each uh, for 2.11. So I do expect 11 changes at half time. And once again, apologies for the noise interference we're having today. There's just some works going on on the roof. It should be the last day, hopefully, that we are going to get noise. That's why you noticed that we weren't in the studio yesterday as we were on Tottenham High Road gathering some content for you guys today. But only three minutes till kick off. A lot of confident Spurs fans in the comments. Uh, a lot of people saying 7-0, 5-3, 7-3, 5-0, 6-0, 20-0, 1-0, 11-1. Hoon Kim says uh, we're going to lose 4-1 today. 
So he shot me. Well, um, um, I guess we should probably mention, have a conversation about the whole Tongi thing. He's not in the squad today. I really did think he would be on, would have been on the bench, um, considering he was back in training. I know he wasn't. In You've the been saying that every single friendly. I think he was going to play the first one if he wasn't injured. I really do. I think he was going to play. Um, then he did get injured. Um, but I have to say, there is something de- there. I, de- I do start. I am starting to get the feeling there is something going on, considering the fact he was back. He has been back in training now. We've seen it on the. This video is what I said to you in the last days, game, um, and he's still not in the squad. So I do wonder if something's up. Um, I guess they still got the excuse of he was injured and maybe he's behind the rest fitness wise. But the fact that we've seen him in training, um, we haven't seen him in the games in training, but we have seen him train with the rest of the squad and he's still not in the squad now. Um, I do wonder what is going on there, to be honest. I hope it's not something like uh, he's told him he wants to leave or something, but I guess we'll find out more later. But um, I've been I've been wondering uh, stuff about Ndombele ever since those first Ange comments and where he said, uh, you know, maybe he doesn't even want to be here. And like, I know maybe he's reading too much into comments like that, but it just it just felt weird, that comment, and it didn't really sit right. He hasn't said that about anyone else, only him. Yeah. Um, he that's true. It was a bit strange, I thought as well when he said that. But when, but in the training, um, before he got injured in the training, he was in that first eleven, um, which we've seen clearly is an indication of who he's set to play. Because every time it's been pretty much the same thing. But then again, he has says don't don't read too much into those kind of lines. I'm saying just from what we've seen. Yeah, no, I, I get so, that. Like it's not like. Uh, it's not, no, I'm not reading too much into it. Literally, you've seen it in the first 11, then it's pretty much the same every time. So he was in that first 11 in the training um, before he got injured. So I assume at least he would have been in the squad. Maybe not start. I think he would have started, but even if he wouldn't, he wouldn't have been in the squad. So the fact he's not in the squad now, I do wonder what's, if something has changed or, or maybe he's just injured. I don't know. It's, it's a bit strange. Um, I, hope, I hope he still gets another chance. He's took two friendlies after this tour. So... I guess we'll see if he is involved in those friendlies, but Ange does have a lot of players to juggle. But you know, with people like Harvey White on the bench, like if if um, you would assume he would have been left out ahead of um, if, if Tungi was um, if he if Tungi was in his plans, you would assume he would have been ahead of someone like Harvey White on the bench. So it's either there is a problem or he's still not fit but he did say yesterday he's available so yeah, but he said that two games yeah, ago as well he's available so. he said two games ago everyone's no, available he, he, apart from apart I from think the one Scarlet. before the one before he said um he said that there's one or two um still not 100 percent. but la- last game 100 percent. last press conference sorry he said he's definitely available he mentioned from what i remember he said everyone's available apart from Scarlet in the last game uh before he, well, uh, the he leicester did say, game he did say tongi still getting back to full fitness even this time he said his tongue is a slow burner but he said he is training with the rest of the squad and is available so um that Big would indicate he should be a available selection well the players are out on the pitch now harry kane with the captain's armband uh taking their picture in the center circle with the referees and the lion city sailor captain Big Keith in the super chat says, hello, lads, builder here. I'm stuck on the roof. Come and join us, Big Keith. <laughs> um, but look, I- I'm not even going to attempt to try and uh, name the Lion City Sailors lineup, to be honest. But uh, maybe Sim will have the uh, the names Jesus. in front of him for the commentary. <laughs> I know, I know. Sorry, man. I, um, there's Henrik at centre-back. I can see right. Is that an English guy? Um, Herrera Lopez. I don't even know if, who who would have the lineup. The live score even have the city sound uh, city sailors lineup. Let's see. Yeah, I'm sure they do. They might not. I don't know. Substitutes there: Regulon, Skip, Hoybier, Richarlison, Emerson, Perisic, Dyer, and then it went off the screen. <laughs> I'll get the rest of the. Uh Right. Well, my phone started uh, apparently not to work. And Man United lost 3-1 to Wrexham last night. But let's run through that bench with you guys. It's Austin, Devine, Dyer, Emerson, Hoybier, Lo Celso, Perisic, Regulon, Richardson, Skip, Manuel Solomon, Jaffet Tanganga and Harvey White. Just so we'll probably see our first sighting of Eric Dyer in oh, this game. Off. We are off. And uh, it's the City Sailors in all blue, kicking from right to left. Tottenham in all white, kicking from left to right. We should be playing in all white pretty much throughout the whole season, isn't it? That's our kit now, isn't it? All white. Yeah, uh, it still shorts. doesn't s- seem right with me. 
<laughs> Especially given that it's the first season in 10 years we've been out of Europe. Yeah, exactly. And uh, all of a sudden, the season, we're going all white. But here we go. Ben Davis on the ball. What do you make out of uh, Ange's comments about Ben Davis? It's caused a lot of stir on social media. Why? What's he said? He said uh, he's got a lot of the qualities I look for in a, a left back in my system. Yeah, he's just going to talk him up, isn't he? Um, everyone, uh, everyone that doesn't like you know Davis and Dyer and all this kind of thing is taking that as absolute travesty. I just think, look, you got Davis is a player who um, has been at the club for a long time. I think he probably has a lot of the respect to a lot of the players in the dressing room. I actually don't think he's a bad player personally. I just don't think he's a, he's a good one. You know what I mean? So. I think um, in terms of the qualities he has to play Ange's uh, wing backs, I think he can do it to a to an average level. I don't think he's a disaster there, but I just don't see him being a very good option there. I'd much rather our other full backs, to be honest, and people with a bit of pace. I just Here we go, Mappe Batasa! Oh, it looks like uh, it is Basuma in the six and Sar in the eight early on. I have to wait and see. I'm, gl I'm glad Star's getting a start. Because yeah, after Ange's comments about him, it made me really excited, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I've always believed in uh, Saar, especially after that game against Milan. I really wanted to see him kick on and make a few more appearances. It didn't really happen under Conte or Stellini or Mason. Um, but hopefully now with Ange, a player that really believes in the youth, he can uh, start kicking on his Spurs career now. Yeah, that's what I hope for. And that's why I like... I wouldn't. I would be hesitant to start spending like big money on teenagers because I wanna. I wanna really like believe. Like give time to Sar and Skip and even Divine. Like I'd rather, I'd rather bank on them than like start spending thirty million on more teenagers. You know what I mean? And also like, with players of those qualities, the qualities that Sar has. Um Less, less, lesser extent skip because I think a lot of managers have seen his qualities but specifically Saar like if you really show your belief in him like Ange Postacoglu clearly is doing right now you're going to reap the benefits from it yeah I think so um, one sec yeah I think so I think that he just needs a bit more confidence um, here's Madison yeah and I think he's got all the quality and I just think, no, he's still young. He's he's still like, he's had his last two years haven't been great for his development. But guy clearly has a, a real quality. So I'm uh, I'm excited to see him on a more regular basis. He's a doggy on the left hand side. He cuts it back to Madison in the box. Cuts uh, it back for Kane, oh. and it's just wide. It's important to note, though, if we do win today, we pick up a trophy, the Tiger Trophy. Who says that Kane can't win trophies? <laughs> exactly. Who needs to win the Champions League at Bayern Munich when you can win the Tiger Trophy? Nice all from Tottenham. They want handball, but I don't, know, I don't think there's any VAR in the uh, in the friendly. Nice play. Madison cuts back to Kane. Just wide. Nearly an open goal within three minutes. Here's Sonny getting his first action of preseason. Oh, nice turn. The doggy's uh, been bullied, pushed over. And some interesting quotes coming out over the last week or so from Sonny and from uh, Romero. Sonny was very interesting, I thought, yesterday. He was saying that he assumes that he's going to go back to his what his role was maybe uh, a few years ago. You know, touch, tugging that left-hand touch line, being pushed out wide, cutting inside. Um, and really getting back to maybe basics for Sonny. Yeah, and um, obviously, look, he's obviously um, turned into more of a forward over the years than he, than he was a winger. And now, Ange, I'm guessing, is asking him to be more of a winger who will take his opportunities to cut inside and, and get into goal-scoring positions. I, I'm not saying he's a bad one-on-one -on -one um, dribbler. He's not a bad one. He's just not an amazing one. Is my is my point when I get to, when I get to Son. So I just question whether he is that player anymore who's going to relentlessly take on his fullback and get uh, and more often than not be beating him and getting in loads of dangerous positions. Or when you when you when he's facing pro good Premier League fullbacks who are quick and strong. Oh, one second, here Madison's we go. Madison's in the box. He's using his uh, quick footwork. Saar with a ball to the back post. Good ball. Oh, it's gonna find Son. No, it's not. Um, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what, what how Son um, 
plays that role. We know he's it's not a new role to him, but I'm just I'm just questioning whether it's a role he's suited to anymore at this stage of his career. That's what I'm questioning. I'm not saying he can't do it. I think he can do the role, but can he do the role to a like an amazing level, or has that his ability to take on his fullback and just be like that relentless winger he was maybe at 25? I don't know. I just don't know anymore. We'll have to wait and see. But I, then again, uh, if he's uh, one set, Madison in the box and Kane's there is going to be a corner. Um, what I'll say is now he has had his surgery. And if it is true that, I mean, obviously it must be true that it was really holding him back last season. Then um, that does give me more hope that we're going to see a bit of a fresher Sonny this season than we saw last season. You know, Son, Son I, I agree with you, by the way. I was saying the same things that is Son really suited to that role anymore. But... Um, Reading that article, I kind of gathered like a sense of excitement from Sonny to be back in that role. Um, yeah, I'm sure. I think he's just genuinely excited to be under a more front-footed manager. That's the what I got. Not not necessarily uh, in the role specifically. It was more like playing in the opposition's half a lot more, and that will suit Sonny. You know, what, what was my biggest criticism of um, of Conte of Son under Conte it wasn't the position necessarily he was picking up in. It was where he was picking the ball up from. How often was Sonny just in his defensive third? How he had to track the fullback all the way back constantly. Yeah. He he was playing the game in our half rather than the opposition's half way too much. Yeah. And now that's going to change. And yeah. I think that's the most exciting thing. And that's going to bring the most biggest improvement. Probably, Agreed. Completely agree. But in terms of what he was talking about, his injury and how he was saying that, um, you know, he wanted to stay there for the team. He didn't want to let the team down, blah, blah, blah. Like very selfless way of thinking the way he was uh, talking. But it made me think like it was actually more on the selfish side than the selfless side because he was actually hurting the team, probably playing at 50, 60 percent as opposed to getting that surgery and coming back a month or two later and getting to the 100 percent mark. What I don't understand is how long ago did he have his surgery? Because didn't we hear he had his surgery not even that long ago? So He had the surgery just after the season finished. As soon as the season finished, he flew out. He flew out to have his surgery. Yeah. OK, so we're talking maybe six weeks like. I mean, yeah, it's a blow, but it's not like Sonny ain't missing. It's not like Sonny missing for six weeks. We're, oh, Kulisewski knocked over the keeper. He's gone down. He's still down, Kulisewski. Referee says, stop playing. No penalty. Um, it would have been That should bad. have been a penalty, no? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see that again. I don't know if he got the ball or not. Kulisewski clashes with the keeper. He gets, I don't know. Did he take it past the keeper there? Or does the keeper get a touch on it? No, that's a penalty. No, that's a penalty. Kudu gets there first. Referees, I think, made a mistake there. Yeah, um, that's a definite penalty. 100%. definitely should have been a penalty. I think referees made a, made, made a mistake. He is still down, though, Kulu. He's still down. That's worrying. Adam Tolbert saying, streaming from a job site today, Let's. Yeah, sorry about Pretty that. Pretty much, that's exactly yeah. what we're doing. I'm hoping by about half time they should be done, but I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. There's no uh, no guarantees. Uh, uh, it's very frustrating this today, to be honest, but yesterday we literally had no roof. <laughs> yeah, literally, it was like raining on us. We got to the studio yesterday morning and we're just like... Yeah, I don't think this is going to work today. So we just uh, made our way down to Tottenham High Road. And I think uh, we made quite a good job of it, to be fair. What was I going to say? So, yeah, so about um, Son, like, yeah, six weeks would have been a blow. But, like, we could have handled it. You know what I mean? Like, we had, we have, we signed Richarlison. For that players. exact so, thing. Yeah, exactly. So it does, it does um, frustrate me a bit that he took that decision because he felt that personal responsibility. I understand that, like... Every game in the Premier League has that importance, doesn't it? And he just he probably putting it off. But at the end of the day, with some of his performances on the pitch, he wasn't even worth being on the pitch sometimes. So it definitely hurt us. And that's what I'm it's saying. Over it's now. That decision, um, in a way, like he made it for the right reasons, but it ended up being more selfish than probably selfless. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And also, he could, he could, could have given Richardson to have a really good chance to really have a, a run in the team rather than, you know, a, a bit part, yeah. Here, a couple weeks there. Yeah. And maybe he would be in a different case, but... To be fair, Richarlison's uh, performances weren't any too That's different. So but a, lot, a run in the team might have changed that. But I, I don't know if someone's been pressured by Conte not to get the surgery. I don't know. Who knows what the outside pressures were. So it's hard to say, unless we've got the full details. But 
on the face of it, definitely the sooner they dealt with that, the better. Oh, he was suffering. Um, Tottenham have pretty much had all the ball so far, but here come the uh, uh, Lion City Sailors. They've got they've won a, a foul in the uh, opposition's half. Seventy-seven percent possession so far for Tottenham. Five goal attempts, zero on target. But here come the Lion City Sailors. Oh, Vicario comes Mario rushing out of goal with a header. But here come the Lion City Sailors coming forward now. Looking for the ball out wide is picked up by Porro, and he comes forward. His Kuzevki is back on his feet and back on the pitch. Cut inside beautifully. Gone, Decky. Between two players. One more, one more. Star. Here's Udogi on the left hand side now. Out wide to uh, Son on the left hand side. He cuts inside. Gives it to Madison. Goes on the left-hand side on his left foot. Cuts inside on his right foot. Gives it back to Ben Davis. Now Pape Matasar. Goes out wide to Porro, who's in the inverted role. Kuliseski's out wide on the right-hand side. Looks to pass in between the lines to Kane, who can only give it back to Porro and Tottenham. Going back towards their own goal now. Here's Romero. Every player in the uh, City Sound, the City Sailors half at the moment. His human son. Udogi's on the left-hand side. He's got a lot of space. Can he pick someone out? Back post. Oh. He's over his head. And it's going to go wide. Poro, though, to Basuma. Kulisevsky. Back to Basuma on the right-hand side. Into the penalty area. He's got Kulisevsky for help. He's looking for a little dribble. He's won a corner, has he? No, goal kick. Hmm. Well, no, no goals within 12 minutes. It's got to be a bit of a letdown. Disgrace. Got to be. Absolute disgrace. If you're new around here, please do scroll down and smash that like and subscribe button. We bring you daily Tottenham content and we're going to be really ramping up the Spurs content throughout the season as well. We've got 2,900 in here with us, so big up to each and every one of you. We have started a brand new channel as well, concentrating on football surrounding Europe. The link for that is in the description below, so go and check that out. And if you like what you see, please do smash that subscribe button. But Spurs on the attack now with oh, Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky looking oh. to thread the needle to Son but good inception by the City Sailors centre back here they come is that a foul by Kane referee says no good tackle nice play by Harry Udogi to Saar Saar good ball between the lines to Poro but Poro can't take it in his stride and it's lost here's Saar here come the Sailors, though. And I have just pinned our shop to the top of the comment section. So if you fancy having a gander, um, all you have to do is click that link at the top of the community section. Uh oh. Here and come here come the, si the Sailors. On the right hand side now. Oh, they're in the box. Oh, my God, they've scored. <laughs> Ridiculous. And Anor. Anor. <laughs> Shual Anor has put the ball in for the London City Sailors. And Spurs are one down here. How the hell are we losing to this mob? A ball into the box. He gets a run on, um, I think <laughs> it was uh, Romero. Did he get a run on Romero? And he just kind of kind of scuffed it into the back of the net over the head of Vicario and Tottenham are one down here Lestien on the right hand side he's cut inside Udogi he, he's run nah, to Poro. Poro's man is that an own goal I'm not sure if it's an own goal or if uh, I think it's Anwar. an own goal I think Anwar gets the last touch I think that Poro could be an stretching. own goal That is ridiculous. How embarrassing to go 1-0 down to these lot. All defending from Tottenham and Spurs are one down here. <sighs> Fantastic. Here's that Son. was terrible defending by Poro. Yeah, it's poor. Oh, and that's a bad touch from Poro as well, but he recovers. Kulisevsky on the ball and that's a bad touch from him. 
And Porro just boots it back to Ben Davis. Here's Madison now in the half space. Out wide to Son on the left-hand side. Can he find a cross? He does. Came to the near post. And it's out for a corner to Spurs. Literally, that was their first time in our half in the opening 15 minutes. Happens every time. Again, like, they've scored with minimal amount of possession, similar to the start of the West Ham game as well. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Very frustrating. Here's Pedro Porro. Porro's corner headed away, only as far as James Madison on the edge of the box. His strike Ooh. is just wide. Out to corner, deflection. So that's two friendlies so far, and uh, Porro's been responsible for two goals. <laughs> yeah, it's not been great defensively from him. Porro with. And here comes corner. the drilling. Uh, out to Madison again on the edge of the box. Oh. And a good strike again this time by Madison, and a good save from the goalkeeper, and it's going to be another corner. The noise just gets more and more from the roof here. They're literally tiling the roof as we speak. Literally, the Spurs couldn't have picked a worse time to kick off today. Porro with the corner. To the back post and a header from Romero, I think. And it's over the bar. Scorpion fan for life, member for 27 months, says, if we win or not, conceding to this lot is embarrassing. We are a joke right now. I mean, I wouldn't read too much into uh, into friendly games, to be honest, but um, I kind of do agree to a certain extent. It's not great, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely not great. Um, here's the goalkeeper, goal kick. This, the Lion City Sailors have 3,000 followers on Twitter. 3,000. Jesus. <laughs> Currently, they're third in their division, though, so uh, competing uh, in the upper echelons of the Singapore League. Yeah, exactly. What a team. Throw in to the Sailors. Don't worry. They'll tire. It's, or maybe they uh, won't. Number 34, <laughs> which is Zivkovic. No, he's given it to number 22, who is Huzen. Uh, whoever did this live score has no idea who plays where. I can tell you that. Um, here's Kulusevsky, though, on the outside. Nice play from him. Great dribbling, Kulusevsky, and he wins a free kick. Who do you reckon are uh, better quality, these little Mura? These little Mura? <laughs> Probably, I don't know, probably Mura. <laughs> I don't know, do we? None of these players probably get into a League Two team or a uh, Mura or Conference League. I don't know. Yeah, only Conference League because of the league they play in, though. Here's uh, Saar. Could I say, let's get the ball in. Kane there. No. Udoki's at the back post. He's looking for support. Puts it back to Madison. Madison floats it to the back post over Kane's head. Kulusevski keeps it alive. Does he? No, he can't. Out of play. Mm. 19 minutes in. And we haven't had like a real chance on goal apart from a Madison effort from like 30 yeah, yards out. Not much has happened so far. The football... Uh, Hasn't been like it was against West Ham, that's for sure. Goal kick taken by Rohaizad. Taken by who? Rohaizad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. The doggy with the picks up on the left hand God side. Destiny. Looking for support. He's going to go on the outside, is he? No, he cuts back, gives it to Madison. Madison's going to float one in as he's he going to go for goal. He does, and it's over the bar. All Madison is doing is picking up the ball and looking to shoot from distance. <sighs> he backs himself. We know he's got the quality to do that. Yeah, need a bit of variation in your play, though. 
Yeah, he does. Madison has lots of variation in his play. I'm talking about today. He's played some crosses in the box. 20 minutes gone, 1-0 down to the Lion City Sailors. Romero to Doggy. Being closed down, he keeps in and gives it to Son, who can't keep in. It's going to be a throw into the Sailors. Son's not happy. He thinks the throw's a good Spurs. Hope you're all enjoying the background noise today. It's not giving you too much of a headache. Here they come again, the Lion City Sailors. Here's who's Poro defends it. well then. Poro though, tackle and pass to Kulusevski. Now here's Basuma. Basuma with the ball out wide to Udogi. He's going to uh, get forward now. He's going to drive into the space. He gives it to Son quickly on the left-hand side. Five players into the penalty area now. Can he pick one out, Son? Goes on the outside and he corner. wins a corner. Corner to Spurs. James Madison to take it. Sixth corner of the game for Spurs. Let's have a good one now. J Mads. Madison to the back post and the keeper comes and can't claim, but the header by Udogi is wide. Oh no, is it Romero who ended up with it? It was yeah, it was Romero who ended up nearly getting on the end of, it did get on the end of it, but didn't unfortunately turn it on target. Come on, Spurs. Give us a show. Super chat from Espen Anderson saying, any updates on new centre-backs? So tired of this defending. Unfortunately, no updates as of yet. Another super chat from Adelaide Aviation saying, I'm quite concerned with Tottenham's performance in Premier League game. Yeah, it's well, not too far away from the Premier League. It's true, not far away. Here's Porro on the right-hand side. Can he keep the ball in? He can, and he's being pressed and Bloody hell. plays a quick one to Romero and gets out of trouble. Nice play. Here's Basuma. Basuma with a good ball between the lines to Madison in space. He goes on the outside to to Son on the left-hand side. Son looking at the back post for Kane and overhits it. Well, and to Kane keeps it in. Here's Decky. Saw so looking for oh, the one two. Come on, Ref. Ref. Says, no. He Kulusevsky clearly blocked down. him off there. Saar chasing him down. Referee says no foul. I thought that was a clear foul, but his Poro wins a throw. Here's Kane to Madison. Turns. Nice little play for Madison. He's in the box. James Madison well, James. cuts it back. And why is no one the there? At the, near po at the back post. And good defending again by Suzleman. Could he have gone for goal there, Madison? It was a good bit of dribbling. On the right-hand side in the half space. Turning really effectively in behind. No, a bit of a tight angle. Went for the pass. No one there. What was that budget rewinding to get the replay? Did you see that? Oh, Madison! His shot is saved. <sighs> What's going on? Is it a foul? No. Throw into Tottenham. Basuma. Kulusevski on the chest. Here's Romero. Poro, Kulusevski, nice bit of dribbling on the right-hand side. Cuts inside his left foot, woes for goal, and it's over here. And it's a goal kick to the Sailors. Everyone's just going for the worldies today. I'd like to see a bit of team play. I mean, we have seen it up until, like, these areas of the pitch. But Kulusevski think, well, should have played it in. some good individual bits of dribbling, but um, we're not seeing too much interchanges, I don't think. Yeah, exactly. Opinion. Um, a lot of people asking how we are watching. We are watching on Spurs Play, which is the official Spurs streaming platform. Um, so if you do want to watch it, that is where we are watching it. Nine shots off target so far for Spurs. They've only had one shot, the Sailors, and they've scored from it. 
Here's Basuma to Saar. Back to Basuma. Taking charge now. He's looking for some forward pass. Good pass in between the lines to Saar. Here's some combination to Poro, who can't keep possession, but he wins a free kick. And he's down. Would say that, uh, what's his name? Madison. Oh, oh, Kane plays it early and Human Son is it 1-1 one, one is offside. Side. He scored Human Son with a header. Kane played an early free kick, but unfortunately Son is offside and the goal won't count. Quick thinking from Spurs, but too quick, unfortunately. Well not yeah. quick enough, maybe, whatever way you want to look at it. In terms of players that have impressed so far that have looked bright, I would say like uh, Madison and Kulisevsky are probably the standout players at the moment. Yeah, Basuma I think is looking good again. Um, yeah. He's had a much better start to the game, Madison, than he had against West Ham, that's for sure. Been a lot more involved, that's for sure. Taking more shots, getting uh, getting on the ball more. Roh Hazard with the uh, goal kick. Oh, it's bounced over Kulisewski and Saar, and it's gone out for a throw to Spurs. Pedro Porro with the throw. Romero. Ben Davis now to Madison on the left-hand side to Basuma out wide to Porro he's going to cross it to the back post oh the keeper's fumbled it and oh. he's just about picked up for the second attempt 20 at the back post for a doggy there. seven minutes gone now still no goal for Tottenham Hotspur we have threat Enson's put one in the back of the net. It was offside. We should have had a penalty as well with Dejan Kulisevsky being fouled by their goalkeeper. Been robbed. But it is still 1-0 to the Lion City Sailors. But to be fair, it has been completely all Spurs, apart from that one time that they went forward. Yeah, it's been pretty one-way traffic, to be fair, as you expect. Ben Davis now, out wide to Son. Son down the line to Madison. And Madison is a good tackle by Super, his name is. Is he super? Super tackle. Here is super. On the right hand side, he goes long. And here comes Lestien on the right hand side. Cuts in on his left and his pass is a decent one. Back to Perez. Rui, Robert Perez. Rui Perez. Rui Perez. <laughs> and here's a good ball out wide by to Lestien. Good ball by that Perez. Lestian cuts inside with Doggy again, goes to the back post, and the header wide by Zivkovic. Zivkovic? Is it a corner? No. Perez loves a goal against us. Always Lestien scored. seems to uh, be. Oh, it is a corner. Corner to the Sailors. Defending definitely leaves a lot to be desired, I have to say. Yeah. Like if we're defending like this against these lot, I dread to think what it's going to be like in the Premier League with it being so soon. Here's less the end. And uh, the corner, won by a Sailors player, has gone back to Lestian on the left-hand side. Saar, nice tackle, and he comes away with it. Can we hit a, hit a counter now? Saar down the line for Kulisesu. Go on, Decky. Kulisewski now. Where's the got support? Got a bit of space on the right-hand side. All in the zone. He's got three players there. He cuts it on his right foot. He's only got Son in support. He wins the corner. Yeah, he does well. Great ball by Saar. He did well. He needed more support earlier. But it's now half an hour gone. This half has uh, flown by. With Spurs on the attack for pretty much 80% of it. Pedro Porro with the corner. Outswing on the right hand side. Porro into the box. Header at the near post by Saar over the bar. Another shot from Spurs. Another chance goes begging. We have looked dangerous from the Porro corners, to be fair. But haven't been able to get them on target. I think in terms of shots on target, it's just that Spanish one, isn't it? All the rest have been off target, I believe. Um, I'll tell you. 
Well, they don't even have the stats for that. We've had three shots on target, it says. Three shots on target. All right, well cut out from Destiny and Doji, but it just goes all the way back to Lion City Sailors, and it's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a foot race here, but Vicario well, picks it up. That. Vicario to Basuma. Basuma plays it forward, Full and that's a foul Madison. on Madison. Maybe it'll be a bit like um, the West Ham game, where you know the first half we were in the ascendancy in the better team, but second half was where we really stamped our authority. Here is Madison to Kane, back to Madison. Kane in the deep position this time. Basuma forced back towards own goal, but Romero quick pass out wide to Kulusevski. Kulusevski sw sw swings it across Humble. his block. Here's Basuma. Oh, ah. Looking for the pass through Doggy and hasn't found him, but Kulusevski's going to let this one go out for a throw to Tottenham. And he's going to let Porro take this one. Poro to Romero. Here's Madison. About four yards to go. Looks for the through ball to Kulusevski. The block. The defender gets there first. Two, blocks it off Kulusevski. And it falls to Son on the left hand side. A bit of luck there for Tottenham. Here's Udogi to Madison. Out wide to Son. Son back to Davis. Davis to Romero. Basuma, Saar on the right-hand side. He's looking for a pocket space, a little nutmeg pass. Madison out wide to Son on the left-hand side. Son back to Madison in the box. He has a shot, and it's just wide. What's that, the fifth shot from Madison today? Yeah, it was the right, <laughs> right decision that time. Yeah, we've had 15 shots today so far. Only one on target, though. Three, it says. I don't remember any other shots on target. 3,600 people in here with us, but only 399 likes, guys. You know, the more positivity that you send to the stream, the more times you hit that like button, the more likely it is that Spurs will go on and win the game and at least get a goal. But we are in the... Well, I would say we're in the ascendancy. We are 1-0 down, but we are camped out in their half for the most part, but it is a free kick inside our own half at this minute in time. The foul on Zig Zivkovic from Bisuma. Free kick. It's going to be less the end to take. He goes long and headed all. Oh, Davis heads into the path. Back into the Sailors player. His shot is blocked. And he's far as super. Rohazide. Udogi to Vicario. Nice pass to Bisuma. Come he's on, looking Eves. for options now in between the lines. He goes to Madison. Nice ball. Madison again with the outside Lovely, of his nice boot. How ball. many passes with the outside of his boot have done today, Madison? Son to Basuma. Who turns. He's looking for options. He goes out wide to Kulusevski. Kulusevski to, to Basuma. Back to Davis. Out wide to Son. Son Come on, on sunny boy. Side, cuts inside. Back to Basuma. Basuma over the top. Looking for Poro. Poro's gone down. Oh. Holding, his, holding his chest. I think he's okay. Here's Basuma. There's Davis to Basuma. In between the lines to Saar. Madison. Nice flick again by Madison into Poro. Out wide to Kulusevski again. Is he going to go on the outside? He does. He goes on his right foot and his pass is into the arms of the goalkeeper, unfortunately. Trying to get to the near post to Poro, but couldn't find him. It's all coming from those two players though, at the moment, isn't it? All Kulusevski and James Madison mm -hmm. making stuff happen. 
Wasn't the best Will Porro wanted a better pass there. Final ball has not been good today so far. Yeah, still looking rusty, the finishing in the final pass, that's for sure. But here's Romero, easily picked up for Saar. Saar, quick pass to Kulisevsky. He can turn into Madison. Oh, oh. it's a save on the keeper. Kane oh. and a volley over the bar. Well, that's the best chance of the game by far. A good bit of play from Spurs this time. Quick pass into Kulisevsky. Son looked free, but he went for Madison. Nice touch inside. And it's straight at the keeper. He should be scoring that. And Kane's volley is over the bar. What's that? Shot number six for Madison or something? So, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Oh, it's so got to be scoring that. Madison yeah. straight at him, right on the penalty spot, really. It's a poor finish. It and uh, it was very, very straight, not in the corner. And a poor finish from uh, Harry Kane as well. Got just under 10 minutes to go till half time, And it's a throw on to the Lion City Sailors just inside the Tottenham half. Ange is in his technical area, barking out orders to the team, showing some encouragement as well. This uh, the, fir the first half team hasn't scored a goal yet, have they? Because we were 2-0 down against West Ham, weren't we, at half-time? Yeah. Still 1-0 down now. Basuma, quick pass into Madison. Good turn, but he just overcooks the touch. And it's going to go back to Rojazide, the goalkeeper. He clips it into the striker, heads it on. Romero's going to win that. But only as far as Zivkovic. But Saar's there to pinch it off him. And now Kulisic on the right-hand side. He needs support. Gives it to Kane, who can't get a touch on it. Saar with a foul, is it? No, referee? Yeah, referee says foul. Saar did not look happy with that one. <laughs> Complaining at the ref still. It's not like a bit of a dive, to be fair, but... Yeah. Did a, not yeah, touch him. a big dive. Not even Zivkovic. one bit of a touch. Big dive. And the uh, referee buys it. It's going to be Pedrao to take. Romero again picks it up. Here's Ben Davis. Bissoubel and in the sixth position. Long ball for Son. It's a nice ball. Really well weighted. And Son can pick it up. He goes on the, out, on the inside, Son. With Madison. Looks oh. for the 1-2. And Madison can't get it back to Son. And can't win the tackle either. And here comes Anwar, the goal scorer. Is that a foul by Odogi? No, referee says play on Son. And it's a poor pass for Son. And it's going to go all the way through to the goalkeeper. All right, here we go. Here come the Lion City Sailors one more time. I'll tell you someone who's been completely anonymous today, and that's Harry Kane. Yeah. I can't remember a touch from the ball yet from him. He pretty much was anonymous in the first game as well. Hasn't gotten involved at all, Harry, in this game, I have to say. Remember the goal he scored last time we were in Singapore? What was that on the, the halfway line? Was that yeah, Singapore? against Juventus. What a goal that was. Unbelievable. Hussein. Rahazaid. Long ball forward. Porro wins the header. And Basuma picks up the second ball. Here's Romero. Looking for options. He's calling for movement. Udogi starts to move. And he gets, gives it to him. Go on, Destiny. Here's Madison to Harry Kane. Out wide to Kulisevsky. Cuts inside. Kulisevsky looking for the shot. Gives it to Saar. Yeah. And over the bar. High wide and not at all handsome. Poor shot from him. Joey Talks Football has a super chat here saying players who have played for Tottenham and Leicester. Maybe that's a game we'll play at half time, but we do have five minutes to go. Um, one player I'm definitely going to say is Harry Winks. Harry <laughs> He's Winks definitely and played. Harry Kane. Harry Kane played for Leicester as well. Yeah, that's right. Long ball forward now. Romero with the header. Porro back to... Davis. <laughs> yeah, to Davis. <laughs> Here's Porro on the halfway line. Basuma. 
Surely a goal's coming any minute now. Poro surely will get a goal on this half. You'd hope. It's only five Kulisevsky minutes, though. To Poro. Here's Basuma. Yeah, Ben Thatcher. That's a good one. Yeah, I got Thatcher, Ian Walker, and Les Ferdinand all in the same team. Poro looks the ball to Kane to Saar. Oh, oh it was a great save from the keeper. Is it? Or was it off the bar? Off the bar. Off the bar. Brilliant effort that time by Saar. A chest and volley on the edge of the box. And it just clips the top of the crossbar. Lovely play here. Poro into Kane. Kane chests it and heads it into Saar's path. Chest and volley. Oh, oh. it's a good effort. It's unlucky. Oh. That's right. Another one's Casey Keller as well. Casey Keller, yeah. Did what's his name ever ever move to um, Leicester? Ricardo Rocha. Did he go to another Premier League team? Um, he did. Was it Leicester? Portsmouth. It was. Oh, uh, Portsmouth. Yeah, that's right. Here's Davis. All right, come on, Spurs. Let's find something. Who doggy? Basuma out wide. Good ball to Kulusevski. His Saar, ah, oh, it's a poor ball from Saar. His flick goes nowhere, and it can be cleared. Oh, that's a good one, Stefan Freund. Stefan Freund, yeah, another one in that team. There was four players <laughs> in one team who used to play for Tottenham. That game that we drew four all, all four of them played that game. What about, um, no, he didn't, Gary Doherty. I don't think he played, for, don't remember him playing for Leicester. His um, son on the left-hand side cuts inside, and his shot is oh. blocked away, only as far as Basuma. Basuma to Poro in the half space. Saar. Here's Saar. Obviously Gary Lineker as well. Yeah, Gary Lineker. Davis. Papa James Mato Madison. Star. Here's Basuma again. Madison on his left peg. Nice ball this time out wide to Son again. What can he do? He goes on the inside. Davis swings in across. Kulisevsky's at the back post. Can't get a good touch on his shot. It's a good uh, save from the keeper. And it's a corner again. More good saves from the keeper. He's starting to get more and more involved now, the goalkeeper. 20 goal attempts we've had so far today. 65% possession, which is less than what we had against West Ham in the first half. Porro's corner to the back post. Romero's there and away. Another throw. Tottenham pushing. I think another one is uh, Paul Koncheski as well. Yep, he played for Leicester. Here's Basumo, the long ball forward. Kane picks up on the edge of the area, looking for support. He goes out wide to Lovely Kulisevsky ball. in space. Kulisevsky's here. His cross with his right foot is over everyone's head. Only as far as Udogi. Here's Madison in the box. Saar on the edge of the box. He cuts inside, gives it to one Son. More. Kulisevsky, bit of precious building. Son on the right hand side, cuts him on his left foot, and a shot! Oh. oh, just over the bar. So close to finding the top left hand corner. Very, very close. They're sitting so deep and compact, it's making it actually really hard for us to, to carve out some chances. How many times have you seen Son bury it from there? Oof. Oh, good effort. 21 shots now, five on target. Oh, have we lost sound? Lost sound where? Oh, on the stream. 30 seconds left of the 45 minutes of the first half. Come on, let's get a goal before the break, Spurs. Come on. Here's Davis. Your doggy. Oh. Here we go. Davis to Son. Keeps in on the left hand side, human son. Cuts inside on his right foot. Crosses to the back post. Poor. Well over here. 
And it's a goal kick to the Sailors. Two minutes added on at the end of the half. For people that are asking what that banging is, there are some works going on on the roof above us. So hopefully after today, that won't be a problem anymore. Apologies about that, guys. But we do have over 4,000 people in here with us. A big up to each and every one of you. Only 693 likes, though. Let's, in the next minute and a half before half time, let is, let's get to 1,000. I know you could do it. Not many of you have to hit that like. Let's get it to 1,000, guys. Less than a quarter of you have to hit that like. Exactly. Here's Basuma. Good ball. He's been playing some really nice passes today, Basuma. His son again in space. Goes back to Basuma. Using his dribbling ability now, Basuma is in the box, but he gives it back to Madison. To Poro. Poro, uh, the good ball in, and Son at the oh. back post just overhits it. See, I knew it. I knew it. You guys are bloody unmatched, guys. A thousand likes. That took literally 20 seconds. Easy does it for this. Easy. Family. I want to see by the end of full time. Let's see if we can get to two, three thousand. And I know you guys are good value for it. You guys are absolutely unbelievable. All right, Just looking serious. 20 seconds left to go. Here's <laughs> <laughs> Madison. The builders are cracking jokes upstairs. Oh, Kulusevsky in the box. Kulusevsky cuts it back for Kane. It's away. Sars in the that penalty. Yay! Yay! <laughs> We have a penalty. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> Even the builders on the roof are cheering that penalty. Yeah, it's a foul on Saar. And a penalty to Spurs. And here comes what, the drilling. Bit of a dive there. He's just getting them back for what they did to him earlier. Any contact? Yeah, no, contact. there is contact there. there. Is contact. I think it's a penalty. Who else is going to take it but the man himself, Harry Kane, to equalise before the half. Last kick of the half, this is. Come on, H. Harry Kane up against. To level up Arzai. in Singapore against the Lion City Sailors. Harry Kane. Signature run up. Big deep breath. And Harry Kane. That's a good goal. Never in Kicked doubt. Wrong way. Never it's in doubt. Run. And, and look, we got equalized. what we deserved, really, in this game. We should be winning this game. The game's been played and that is the final majority the in their half. It's 1 1. I wouldn't say it's been a good half from Tottenham, but we've definitely been by far the better team, which you obviously expect against a team like Lion City Sailors. They've been. They've had one chance on goal and they scored it. We've had about, what is it? We've had 23 attempts on goal, a lot of them from long range, six of them on target. Um, and I think that there's been a few like stand up performers. James Madison, I think, is playing really well. Dejan Kulisevsky. And I'm liking the performances from Destiny Adoji, Bisuma, and Pape Matasar as well. Yeah, I think. Um it's been it's been quite easy for Tottenham in terms of how and to dominate possession to make to stop um, City Sellers getting forward. Um, they've literally had barely anything. They've had one um, chance on goal and they ended up scoring from it um, with a little lucky bit of a lucky finish over Vicario's head. Um, but I think Tottenham, it's just been all Tottenham. It's been one way to one way traffic, trying to create chances, trying to play in between the lines. The fact they've been playing quite deep has made it a bit difficult. But I think other than that, I think Spurs. A well worth the equaliser. I mean, I don't think we've been anything special, but it's been a uh, one way traffic, as you expect. I don't think we've seen the combinations in this first half that we saw against West Ham, which is a bit disappointing. But um, it's definitely been kind of um, easy for us to get into the final third and get out wide, especially. Just need to be better with crosses in the box and our finishing. Yeah, absolutely. I think the final ball has uh, not been good enough today, to be honest. I think that. 
Uh, the sailors are making it a bit difficult for us, the way they're, they're set up in their shape, sitting very deep, very compact. When we get in those areas, we're finding it hard to really uh, break through them. But I think the quality in these kind of situations when they are sitting deep and they are really compact, that's where your end product and your crosses need to be absolutely spot on and they just haven't been today. Yeah, I think we've um I think they've been a bit disappointing. I do I think I've been a bit more disappointed in Son than I have in Kulusevsky in terms of delivery. I think Kulusevsky's definitely been better in his one on one battles with his fullback than Son has. Um, Son still doesn't look quite so sharp at the moment, I don't think, in my opinion. He had a couple of moments when he had a shot, which would just uh, miss the target. But I think his crossing's been off it. His one-on-one um, -on -one, um, ability hasn't been great. But kudasevsky has been a constant threat down that right-hand side. I've been liking his performance a lot today. Yeah, no, Kulusevsky has been. But again, his, um, his crosses into the box haven't been great, have they? Uh, but he's definitely getting on the ball. He's definitely trying to make stuff happen. He's beating his men uh, with ease on that side of the park. So, look, we'll see what happens in the second half. But let's maybe we'll give a bit of prediction. I mean, there's not really a prediction because whoever's on the bench is probably going to come on. Mm. How many do we have on the bench? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So who isn't going to come on? So you'd expect Brandon Austin to come on for Vicario. You probably think Dyer and um, Tanganga will come on for Romero and Davis. Regulon for Adoji. Um, who is the right back on the bench? Emerson. Emerson, Emerson for Poro, uh, Bissuma will probably come off for Skip. I would say Saar will probably come off for Hoybier, Lacelso for Madison, uh, Kulusevski. Who will come on for Kulusevski? Don't know to be honest. Divine probably. On the left hand side, Solomon will come on for Son, and then Richarlison will come on for Harry Kane. So that leaves. Who will stay on the bench? That means Perisic. Maybe Perisic will come on for Solomon and uh, for um, Son, and maybe Solomon will go out to the right. Mm, that's a possibility. I think that's what happened in the training lineups. Mm. But obviously, in the first friendly, Divine came on, didn't he? And he went out on the right hand Son side. And he, true. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I do expect probably Divine, out of the players that will stay on the bench, I'll probably say Divine and Harvey White, and the rest will come on. Yeah, I would say so. That probably makes that probably makes sense. Um, I'm looking forward to maybe an improved second half performance. I think the first half was okay. I wasn't totally, been, haven't been totally impressed with uh, what we've been able to show so far. But look, it's hard to really make any judgments against this kind of opposition. It's kind of been you can only really be unimpressed. There's nothing yeah, really exactly. To, uh, you can, you can, you only can, negatives can come out of this game. Really, because the because of the level of opposition. So it's a bit of a. Uh, it's a bit, a bit of a, just a bit of annoyance. That it's this like a lose lose this game, isn't it? If we bad them, it's like well, it was only them. If we lose, it's like what a disgrace. Um, I guess the the only thing that you can really take out of this game, and it's, it's not much to take to be honest, but you get your players get put in another match day situation. The fitness levels go up, and that's what all pre is about, really. Anyway. Yeah, I think the, what I would say is I've been a bit disappointed with. Um, the combination playing the final third, I think we found it very difficult to really open up the sailor side and create too many great chances. Only Mad I think Madison had the best chance of the game. We had a shot probably around the penalty spot, but um, I think we've uh, I think we've really struggled to open them up. I thought against West Ham we looked a lot be a lot better in the final third in those positions. Yeah. So that's but to be fair, in the first team. half against West Ham we didn't. It was mainly in the second half where you really the, saw even it. Even in the, in the first half, in my opinion, anyway, I think we did see it. Um, but we have had 20 shots, and we probably should have. We probably are unlucky. It's only one-one. Yeah, it should. Have, we definitely should be winning at this point. We got a members chat member, 23 months from Ben Kaufman. He says, "Big up, boys. Big up to you." And Andrew Harvey with the super chat saying, "What's going on with Basuma's pants?" Well, I didn't really notice his anything pants, with Basuma's I, pants. I think um, he's playing well anyway. I'm quite happy with his performance. I don't know about his pants. I haven't seen anything. You don't like know. That. You not, haven't noticed the performance of his pants. I haven't noticed that. Udogi actually, I think, has had a pretty good game as well yeah. at left back. Um, his strides forward, he's been he, hard to track. He looks like a physical beast, doesn't he, Udogi? Mm. He I'm does. really excited to see it. He looks like a player like with that physicality and that speed and that strength. You expect him to fit in well in the Premier League, wouldn't you? Definitely. Um, I think he's he's right. He's perfect for the Premier League, in my opinion. So I'm excited to see um, 
him make his debut. It's going to be really exciting. Um, other performances, Saar has been a bit hit and miss, but I think more hit than miss, in my opinion. He won the penalty. Um, he's had a bit of a few headless moments, but I think all in all, he's been pretty good. He played a really good ball to Skidoszewski on the counter-attack from a corner. Um, Poro has been a bit disappointing with, uh, with his defending, but I think going forward, he's always a threat. You can see that. His crossing maybe has been a bit off. Um, the centre-backs, there's not much to say about them. I think Romero's been dominant, but it's been easy for him. It was so, just obviously a very bad defensive mistake from the back, especially Poro, uh, to let Lion City Sailors score. Yeah, and that that follows, I mean, usually I wouldn't really take too much into account against a game like this, but this follows on a really, you know, a theme of Poro consistently now. Well, mid-defensive errors. Yeah. Yeah, look, we know he's not the best defensively. He's, he's going to, it's something he has to improve on. And um, that's for sure his biggest weakness, his uh, marking. His, uh, he's, it's, it's, it happened in the first game um, where actually it was Regulon in the first game it, was, it happened in the second goal in the game against West Ham where he should have been doing better with uh, Mark in the box and this game he let the goal score run off him so has to do, has to be uh, doing a lot better yeah definitely but uh, 4,000 people in here with us 1,300 likes like I said let's get it to 3,000 before the end of the game so each and every one of you please do go scroll down smash that like button if you are interested in looking at some of our merchandise that we've got on sale at the moment please do click that link at the top of the community section brand new stuff has been going up there in the past week or so with uh, new mugs on sale new kind of style t-shirts on sale Emma Goat t-shirts on sale so if you fancy taking a look and and purchasing one then go and click that link all 11 players are out warming up for the second half so it looks like there is going to be 11 changes as expected uh, for the second half as pretty much confirmed uh, by Ange before the game as well so um, or is this before the game oh no this seems to be before the game who uh, just posted that Cowlin yeah at the Okay, no, even that's not confirmation of them being out. But in terms of stats, 74% possession, 24 shots. Um, but to be fair, of the 24 shots, only really the Madison one near the end of the half and maybe Kulisevsky have been really that dangerous, a lot of them being outside the box. Yeah, majority of them, I would say. We're just finding it very hard to break down um, the Lion City Sailors and on top of that, the crosses in the box are just not being good enough. So hopefully we do see something better in that second half. Um, I'm just going to pop down for a second. I'll be back. All right, let's get in some comments. GB4 says it's been a tough watch. Lots of players have been hit and misses so far. We know we're levels above. I'm not sure how the system is fitting players like Kane, but also please get rid of trolls. What in the comments? Yeah, I know. It's a lot of trolls, unfortunately. Um, John Dalf the Grey says Poro is a good footballer. Um, uh, he just doesn't have the requirements to be a good defender. They need to accept it and try him further forward. That's interesting. Get Kulu off, says Jendi. I disagree with that. I think Kulu's having a good game, although I do think we're going to get everyone off, to be honest. I think we're going to uh, be getting a um, complete... Uh, we're going to be getting a complete change. Um, I'll try and get my... My mouth closer, sorry, if the mic isn't picking me up. TJR says, Poro isn't suited to back four. Um, Sydney says, hey, Sim, how's it going? It's going well, thanks. How are you doing? Nice to hear from you, Sydney. Yo-Yo says, Son looks static. I don't think Son is having the best game out wide, I'm not going to lie. I don't think um, he's thriving there. Um, I think he's doing okay, but... He's not doing fantastic, which is a bit of an issue. Um, Chai Dud says, too many right backs at the club and we now lose money in buying them. Um, what else have we got here? David Marsden says, it's Udoji. Well, Udoji says it's Udoggy, so I don't know who to believe. Do I believe him or do I believe you? Um... Chill, it's literally Son's fun first preseason. I'm chilled, man. I don't know about you, I'm chilled. Uh, I'm sure he'll be he'll get better. I just don't think he's been that great today. Udogi says uh Karen Benji covers. 
I know, that's what I'm saying. It's Udogi. And Skepsil says it's Udoji. Udoji? Udogi? Udogi? I think it's Udogi. Udogi. U do gi. Little bruv. U do gi. U do gi. Uh, Bridie Phyllis says Udogi. Mate, you're all giving me different answers here, mate. You're all giving me different answers. I've got no, there's no definitive pronunciation, unfortunately, guys. So you're just oh, going to have to. Oh, no. no, you're just going to have to deal with some mixing and matching. Guys, What's it's pronounced Yu Yu Gi. No. Udo G. Everyone's saying, everyone's giving different pronunciations to <laughs> Udogi. <laughs> Don't know which one to believe. I didn't know. I was always pronouncing it Udoji. He told me that was wrong. Well, that's what he said. Who? Him himself? Udogi, yeah, he said it's U Udogi. Udogi. Ah, can doggy. Udogi. Vlog Gaming says it's your dodgy. Your dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> you are dodgy, mate. You're dodgy. <laughs> Ali Gold confirmed Udoggy. Udoggy. Fair enough. We're nearly halfway there, guys. Halfway to 3,000. Yeah, it's Roof. It's Roof. <laughs> it's Kemar Roof. Rich Frost oh, says, oh, doggy. In dog belly. It sounds dodgy. <laughs> I'm sure we could find a lot of good uh, doggy memes throughout <laughs> the uh, season. Ali Gold with two amber, two hour ramblings. No, no. No, he's got great videos, Ali Gold. I love his two hour um, two hour rambles. Do you ever watch them from start to finish? I do. <laughs> I don't like sit down and watch them, but I like have them on in the background while I'm doing something. What are you doing for two hours? Yeah, like cooking and driving and whatever. Hmm. Well, two hour drives. No, but you know, twenty it's twenty five minutes into the office, twenty five minutes out of the office. That's all. Like that's like the first hour. Then you're cooking at home for an hour. That's the second hour. That's how it is. So it's never all the way through. It's always in parts. It's always in parts. I can't sit down and watch it for two hours straight. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, so it looks like Regulon Tanganga with the uh, headband, headband yeah. on and Emerson and Dyer. That's going to be our back four. That's who's on screen right now. Manuel Solomon Manol! is on the pitch. I the king of Kvarsaba. I don't know if you've seen in training. Whenever he scores, they all go, Manuel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I love laughs> it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. Foster Hulu says he's winning over his teammates with his ability, he says. Look, in training, he looks brilliant. He really does. He knows how to beat a man, that's for sure. Mm. 3,700 people with you. The uh -oh. second half is about to kick off. First, buzz, first half players did a, some long warm down runs across the pitch before coming off. Oh, so it was in during halftime, that video. Eves Pasuma looks in some discomfort afterwards. He slumped to the floor, seemed to be pointing at his foot, hopefully not the ankle, now mm. limping off. God. Pasuma seems to have picked up an injury, people. That's he had his injury news. problems last season as well. Is this a problem that we're going to have to worry about? That's bad news, guys. Looks like Pasuma has picked up an injury. So it is going to be 11 changes for Spurs at half time. Just trying to confirm. Who else? What the other changes were? So they're saying your audio levels are too low. I think you might need to move the mic a bit closer. There you go. Who's in goal? I imagine it's going to be Brandon Austin in goal. But they are coming out onto the pitch now. They're just, just by the touchline ready to come on. Give me that charger. So I'm running out. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here they are. Richarlison's there. Tanganga, Regulon, Emerson, Skip, Dyer, Solomon, Perisic, Hoybier. And I didn't see the last player. No, it's as you expected. So it's Austin in goal. Um, it's a back four of Emerson, Dyer, Tanganga, and Regulon. Midfield three of Hoybier, Le Celso, and Skip. And a front three of uh, Solomon, Richarlison, and, and Perisic. Perisic. The only one I didn't see confirmation on is Skip, but um, I'm pretty sure he's there. He is there, I saw him. Yeah, so that's, yeah, I think that's, it. that's everyone then. Um, there's been a comment saying, are these two guys brothers from the same mother? I can confirm, I can confirm mother. that is true. All right, here we go. Spurs to kick off shooting from right to left with the with 11 changes. All right, let's go, guys. Second off Spurs, we know what it's like. I want to see Richarlison have a big performance now. Come on, Richie, let's get a goal. Let's get a goal today. At the moment, it looks like, yeah, Lo Celso and Skip in the eights, Hoybier in the, in the six. Uh, as expected, no surprises. Emerson and Regulon are, are inverting. Looks like Solomon has gone to the right-hand side and Perisic on the left. It is Dyer. So Dyer's first um, appearance in preseason as well. Yeah. He's another one as well who's um, had uh, f hopefully fixed problem with his hip, which apparently was causing him problems last season. So maybe... We'll see a better Dyer. Here is Perisic on the left-hand side. He's crossed into the box early. He's over here, but it wins a corner. corner. His name is Ivan. Ivan Perisic. Do, 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 do. The Celso going over to That's take our tenth it. corner of the game. Perisic not take it. It's going to be Giovanni Lo Celso, who had a great game against West Ham and there's even Give reports I was reading Gio, he will score. There's even reports I'm reading that Postacoglu is considering keeping him <laughs> offside how's that how can it be offside what just happened corner Lo Celso took the corner it was headed out back to Lo Celso and he gave offside is that another one of those stop that Lo Celso corners no look this is was headed out back to Lo Celso and he gave offside there's no one even offside he gave it to Lo Celso. How's that possible? He can't be offside. The, 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 the Ryansman know the rules. Clearly not. Ridiculous. <laughs> How's that about? Never seen a more ridiculous decision in my life. He had 30 shots in, this, in the uh, first half, I'm saying. Oh, no. 25 shots in the first half. 30 in the whole game against West Ham. We says, can be reaching, we are, uh, this says 27. Today. In the first half. We could be reaching 30 or 50 shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Spurs. Here's Emerson to Ollie Skip in the wide position to Manor Solomon, who's forced backwards, back to Jaffa Tanganga. Also, good to see uh, Solomon on the right-hand side, how he gets on today. Not a position that... Uh, it's a position he's familiar with, but not one that he's um, known for. So let's see how he gets on. Emerson to skip. Let's all run across his body. Hoybier. It's a poor pass from him. But oh, look at this. Other, and here's Lo Celso. Giovanni Lo Celso shot block. Rishi! Come on. Go on, Rishi. Mm -hmm. He's off the mark. He's got a goal. You can see the relief in his face. Only Rishi shamelessly celebrates in this game. <laughs> Go on, Rishi. <laughs> Go on, I love it. A complete screw up at the back by the uh, Sailors. They all left it for each other. No one took the ball. Uh, Lo Celso pounced on it. There's the pigeon dance by Rishi. Shameless. <laughs> Lo Celso's shot was blocked. Falls to Rishi. And there's the goal into the empty net. What was that? Doing the pigeon dance um, in this game is probably more embarrassing than Vinicius doing the uh, Mbappé celebration against um, Marine. <laughs> Lo Celso's shot... He had Regulon on the left. He tried to take the shot on. It was blocked. It falls to Rishi. He taps into the empty net. Nice quick thinking. And it's 2-1 to Spurs. Come on, Spurs. The deserved lead. Double deflection off the Giovanni Lo Celso cross. And Richarlison is there to place it into the empty net. 
Break it on now on the left-hand side. Is he going to lose it? No, he plays it down the line and he keeps it in as well. Here's Perisic to Hoybier. Lasalso. Here's Emerson to Hoybier to Emerson. He's asking for some movement. Lacelso to Dyer. Here's Emerson. Eric Dyer now on the halfway line. Hoybier with his left foot looking for the pass in behind. Good pass into Perisic. He pulls it back to the cell so he can't get under control. Wasn't the best ball from Perisic, unfortunately. But here's Perisic again on the left hand side. Goes on the outside as a tackle, and it's going to be a throw into Tottenham. Good ball by Hoybier with his left foot, though, on that occasion into Perisic in behind. Here's Regulon to Hoybier. Down the line to Perisic. Into the box for Regulon on the overlap. He goes round the defender. Referee says no penalty. Regulon is certain he was fouled there. Regulon's still down. He said, look, look at the touch. He can't believe it, Regulon. He can't believe it. The defender was nowhere near the ball, but it's whether there was any contact on Regulon or not. Regulon is certain that there was. What do you think? Do you think there was? Well, it still happened too quickly. I have to take another look. If anyone's got some WD-40, give it to the guys on the roof, please. They've been asking for it all game. <laughs> <laughs> Foul by Hoybier on the halfway line. Free kick to the Sailors. Here we go. Here's the. Was there a touch? Oh no, this wasn't a regular foul. You got any? I don't have any, unfortunately. Oh, they're in behind the offside. Sailors. Offside. Offside. Brandon Austin was off his line. He went for the lob, but it was off target anyway. Here is Pierre Emil Hoybier to Emerson. Hoybier. Here is Perisic. Reglon to Hoybier. He goes long over the top looking for skip. Can't get there. And the sailors can clear. Only as far as Hoybier, who wins the header. Played Pierre. And it's going to be a throw in to Spurs. Paris is looking for a quick throw. And he goes long for Richarlison in the box. Richarlison can't get... Oh, Rishi! Rishi! Oh, Rishi! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> need to screw up. I think the Lion City Sailors um, quality is <laughs> coming out now. It's a long throw by Perisic. Um, the City Sailors defender wins it, but it goes, uh, tries to get back to the keeper. He can't, doesn't put enough power on it. Richarlison nips in, heads it beyond him, and it's 3 1. He doesn't want to do the chicken dance, the uh, pigeon dance this time, though. There's it's a Perisic. Great throw, throw from Perisic. But <laughs> what? in the box, terrible <laughs> header back to the keeper, and Perisic pounce. <laughs> and it's another gift. Come on, Rishi! Second gift of the half for Spurs. <laughs> Who says Rishi can't score goals? Oh, look at that. It's what he's needed. He just needed some to fall in on his way. Nice little headed finish, I guess. Uh, but given to him, just given to him, really. <laughs> Three and one to five. Spurs. The floodgates have opened here in the opening stages of this second half. Terrible, terrible defending by the Sailors. Have to say, have to be said. I mean, Richarlison. These two goals just been given to him, both of them. Literally, two gifts, and Spurs are three one up. Here's Dyer, Hoybier to Tanganga. Here's Eric Dyer. Tanganga to Dyer again. Out wide to Perisic to Regulon on the overlap. He's got Lacelso in the box. He decides to check back to Perisic. Perisic lies back heel back to Regulon. He goes on the outside, Regulon. And can he get into the box? He can't. Unlucky. It's a good tackle. But Spurs win it back. But it's cleared away only as far as Dyer. Relentless pressure from Tottenham at the moment. Hoybier to Perisic. Nice 
Uh, square pass to Emerson. Oh, but it's given away. Is it a foul? Nah, no, that's Tanganga. no foul. Hoybier. Nice ball into Lo Celso in between the lines. Ball into Perisic. Out wide to Regulon. Good pot, good cross and Rashad oh. with a header. And it's a good save from the keeper this time. Very close to, off, to a hat trick with inside 10 minutes for Richarlison. Come on, Rishi. 4,139 with you, with us today. Big up to each and every one of you. Spurs are 3 1 up here in Singapore. Spurs chasing him down. It's a good cross field pass, though. Here comes the number 11, who is a substitute, so now his name. Dyer to Brandon Austin. Tanganga. Hoybier. Here's Lo Celso. Ball in behind to Perisic. He's in behind. And it's good defending this time. But it's right up in the air. Oh, and it's a swipe and a miss, and Perisic outmuscles him. Another mistake at the back from the from the Sailors. Perisic pulls it back to Lo Celso. No foul, referees. Come on. And they lo go long now, and a counter attack here for the Sailors. Zivkovic. Stand up, Jaff. Cut, goes on the outs inside of Tanganga and a pass, and a good defending by Emerson, and Reglon gets it back to Austin. These sailors are rubbish, man. <laughs> <laughs> they are rubbish. They're sailors. What do you want? Some of their defending in the second half has just been absolutely <laughs> atrocious. Exactly. Here's Richarlison. But like, where was? Why couldn't we do this? Where was this in the first yeah, half? <laughs> they actually defended fairly well in the first half. Yeah. But now they're showing their true selves. Here's Dyer. The Celso to Emerson. Hoybier to Richarlison. Nice flick around the corner to Perisic out wide. Down the line to R Regulon. Regulon's pulled back. Here's Lo Celso in the box. Lo Celso pulls it back. Oh. And it's gone out for a corner. That was going to go right to Rishi for his hat trick. Where was the run? Giovanni. Do you read anything to uh, Giovanni being front and centre to the, uh, to the uh, Singapore tour? Sorry? On the uh, posters and stuff, he was front and centre of it all. Didn't even notice. On that. the advertising, yeah. Oh. Um. It's interesting why they would pick him, like out of everyone. Yeah, it is. that is a bit interesting, I guess. I guess because he had a good game, maybe, and there's a bit of interest about him, I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe there is more, maybe he is a uh, possibility staying. Perisic to the corner, headed out. Loops in the air, though. Tanganga wins it. And the goalkeeper just about gets... Oh, Richarlison. He just pulled up. I think he's okay. he's limping. I don't know if he's all right, Richarlison. Can he run it off? We'll see. They've just played it straight out for a throw to Spurs. <laughs> They've lost their way. They've completely lost their way. This could be anything in this second half. Here is the Celso. Perisic. Dyer. The Celso now. Regulon. Perisic on the left-hand side. Down the line to Regulon. He's got space. Can he line up across? He does. Looking for Skip. Can't find him. Into the keeper's arms. And what's he going to do now, Rohazad? To Super. And, oh, it's a nice bit of play this time by the, by the Sailors on the right-hand side. And the long ball is poor. And it's given straight to Hoybier. Come Hoybier on, Pierre. Yeah. Skip, Skip, ball into Richarlison, and he's been fouled. Free kick to Tottenham, played quickly by Skip. His Hoybier. Do you think he thinks of Skip as more as an eight than a six? Looks like he keeps playing him there. His but Perisic. I believe in, in some of the training games he played as a six, didn't he? Oh, Perisic in behind, and oh. his shot is just wide. Good play by La Celsa again in behind. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe it's because... He thinks Hoybier and Basuma are sixes, but then again, Basuma looked like he was set to start as a eight last last friendly before he got called off. So yeah. I think he's still experimenting, but at the moment, Skip has definitely just been playing as an eight. So 
I think that's all we can say at the moment. Are a couple of subs ready to come on for the sailors? I think Skip personally is more suited to a six, but... I mean, what does he offer going forward, Ollie Skip? Um, in, a, in an eight position. I'm not sure what he does. Not much. Just, uh, I don't know, runs into the box, I guess. <laughs> Perisic is looking very good in this half so far. Couple of subs for the City Sailors. Do you think Mama Perry Duke. stays? Do I think Perry stays? Um, depends what they want to do with Hill. In my opinion, if they, if if, uh, if Hill stays, then I think Perry probably goes. But if Hill isn't staying, I think unless we're going to sign another one, I think it's probably worth keeping. In my opinion, because mm. you need I think you want you need four wingers. Son Solomon. FC Perisic. That'd be good. Son, Solomon, Kulisevsky, Perisic, yeah. If Hill's going to stay, I think you can probably let Perisic go if he really wants to go. Probably keep both. Here's I'd like to keep go. both, to be fair. I think um, I, I was always over thinking that Perisic would go, but I think Here's he's actually one. more suited to this position than, than win back now. Perisic on the right, uh, cuts inside into Regulon. Cuts it back, it's going to be another corner. He's playing very well, I have to say, Perisic. He's definitely played well in pre-season. Yeah. He's having the same impact in this game than he had when he came on in the first game. Mm. Corner to Tottenham. Perisic plays it short to Lacelso. Back to Regulon. Back to Perisic in space. Here's Lacelso in the penalty box. He pulls it back and it's... Fired across the face of goal, but cleared away. Good defending. But Perisic with a good flick into Lo Celso. He gets tripped, does he? He pulls it back. Oh, if he goes the down there, that's probably a penalty. He's also Half playing far well again, Lo Celso. Yeah. I don't know Corner. what it is, but this second team just seems to have more cohesion to them. Hmm. Perisic with a corner. Here's Solomon. Hoybier, Solomon on the right hand side, gets a cross in the box. Tanganga's header, Perisic flicks it into Lacelso. It's all coming down the left, though, isn't it? Very, not a lot at all is coming no. down the right. Has Solomon even had a touch? That's the yet? first time Solomon really got involved yeah. in that cross. Yeah. Well, Tanganga looks a bit hurt. He's limping here. Solomon's been a bit anonymous, to be fair, on the right hand side so far. Don't know what happened to Tanganga's head. He's got a bandage wrapped around his head. Yeah. Didn't have it in the first game. Something must have happened in training to him. Here is Solomon now. Cuts inside. Into Lo Celso. To Perisic again. Looking for the flick into Regulon and, and it's cleared away. Another corner. I think it's a throw. Oh, is it a throw? I think so. I think it's just about a throw. I've had 13 corners so far today. Dai is up there. Supporting the attack. Here's Tanganga. Hoybier. Here's Eric Dyer. Out wide to Perisic. To Lo Celso in the half space, just outside the box. Into Rashalison. Can he turn in the box? He can't get a good touch on it, and it's cleared. But he wins it back, and is out for a throw. Don't think they uh, sound. The Sailors haven't had a shot this half, had they? Hmm. We haven't got out there half. There was that one long ball. That was it. The possession. This well must played, be Perisic. Close, uh, must be close to eighty percent for this half. The, it's seventy-four. Perisic with the corner. <laughs> Brandon Troller with the members chat. I'll read it out just after this corner. Perisic. Perisic. Richarlison's there, misses it. Skip it to Richarlison. Richarlison, he's offside. He buries it, but he is offside. Classic Richarlison. Nice finish, though. Here's a nice finish. Um, Brandon Troller with the members chat member for 20 months. He says, how in the name of Daniel Levy's pale 
bowling ball head does Eric Dyer have? 49, 49 English caps. Bloody blasphemy, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty crazy he's been capped so many times for England, to be fair. You read some of the names that he's been capped for, and it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Like Glenn Hoddle. <laughs> like, I think he's been capped more than Glenn Hoddle. It's pretty mad. He's is that skip. right? Skip in behind to Solomon. Solomon, good footwork in the but he runs out of space and he ah. loses the ball. And it's away. Here's Emerson. To, to Lacelso. Nice flick to Solomon again on the right side. Pulls it back. Perisic oh. looks to flick it into Lacelso, but can't find him. And cleared away again. It's very easy for Tottenham to just pen them in and keep the attacks, wave and wave of attacks at the moment. His running style really does remind me of Aaron Lennon, uh, Mano Solomon. Mm. He's very nippy like uh, Lennon used to be. 25 minutes left to go. Spurs 3-1 up here. What's the light count saying? 1,649. Are we going to get to that 3,000 mark? What do you reckon, Sim? Come on, of course we are. Of course we are. His As Hoybier. Chish says, don't forget to like the video, folks. Richarlison's at a foul. Referee says yes. And a bit of reprieve for Sailors. KPV says, no, we won't. We won't get to 3,000. KPV? What's that about? <laughs> What's that about, Kyle? Everyone, please try and prove KPV wrong. Get those likes in. Let's get to 3,000. Otherwise, Sim's going to start calling you out individually. Come on. Emerson. Hoybien out. Here's Regulon. Spurs are 25 minutes away from lifting a trophy. Dyer to Emerson. To Celso to Hoybier. Perisic out wide again. Hoybier. A lot of players ahead of him. And he goes for Tanganga. Here's Dyer. Hoybier now. Out wide to Perisic. And now Regan on the left hand side. He's running out of space. And I think it's a goal kick, is it? No, it's gonna he kept it on. It's gonna be a throw. Regan's been alright since he's come on as well. That's a corner actually. Taken quickly. Lo Celso to Perisic. It's been a lot of Lo Celso and Perisic this half. Here it is again. Down the line to Perisic. Again, they're linking up. Perisic back to Lo Celso. They seem to only want to pass to each other. Hey, he passes to someone Emerson. else. Solomon on the right-hand side. Goes on the outside. Gets to the byline. Can he whip it in? Cuts it back. Here's Lacelso on the edge of the box. Goes for the back post with Charleston. Off the post. And Offside, offside no. again. Offside again. He's had two goals ruled out for offside now, Rishi. The two, uh, the two offside goals were such nice finishes, both oh, of them. I, th I tell you what, the guy on the very far side might have been keeping him on, but we'll never know. No VAR? No VAR. It's a nice little header, though. Nice ball by Lo Celso. <laughs> RJ uh, Rogella says, I wonder if the guys working on the roof know that a live stream is happening below them. They're having their own conversations and don't even know what's going on below them. Come on, you Spurs. Coys. We should get them. Get them to tune in and like the stream. Here's Lo Celso. Hoybier now. Dyer. Here's Jaffet Tanganga. Solomon to skip. Back to Solomon. Nice one too. But running out of space. So he goes back to skip. 
Here's Hoybier. Dyer. Perisic out wide. Oh no, Regulon out wide. Whips in across early and the back post and Solomon oh! off the post. Was that the post? Yeah, Solomon off the post. I thought it was a save. Great volley by Solomon at the back post. I'm pretty sure it smacks the post. Here's Dyer. Perisic now in the inverted role at the moment. Very central Perisic. Looks for Richarlison, flicks into Lo Celso. Out, oh, looks for Regulon. It's not a great ball and it's cleared away. Let's see that again, though. I think they're going to replay it. Regulon with a nice deep cross. And there was Solomon at the back post with a really sweet volley. Yes, yeah, it was the post. post. Oh, it's a nice contact on it. Very close to making it four for Spurs. Here's Dyer. Hoybier to Dyer. Oh, look, it's completely tiled now. Yeah. Getting there. All right, we're getting there, people. The roof is nearly done. Can still hear their conversation, sir. Here's Dyer to Perisic. Cuts inside. The Celso. Dyer, nice flick oh. to Perisic. Can he keep it in? He can. Oh, he does well. And his skip. The Celso. Here's Tanganga. The Celso now. Skip back to the Celso. Here's Emerson. Nice quick fall from Spurs. Skip's touches are weak, but it falls back to Skip and his shot is wide. Hmm. Yeah, standout performers this half have definitely been Perisic, Lo Celso. They've been working really well together, providing quality as well. And I think that, um, I think Perisic is really suited to this role. I really do. 27 shots for Spurs, two for the Sailors. And they managed to get one goal out of that. Apparently, the uh, commentator on CBS keeps calling Tanganga and Tanganga. Ridiculous. Huh? Ridiculous. Still over 4,000 people in here with us. Big up. Loving how strong the We Are Tottenham Army are. And I still back you guys to get to 3,000 likes, even though we're quite far away from it with just under 20 minutes to go. Perisic now. Oh, he goes to the outside, Perisic. Beats his man. Go on, get a cross in. Hoi Pierre. Oh. oh, what is that? Poor pass. But well there's played. Tanganga, and there's Solomon. Oh. oh, no, didn't find him. But Tanganga wins it again. Now Mano, Solomon on the right-hand side. Oh. On the outside, Solomon, and pulls it back. And Lo Celso. Gio! Giovanni Lo Celso makes it four. Another easy goal for Spurs. Nice little flip flap there from uh, Manuel Solomon. Yeah, Solomon was decent there, to be fair. Nice little cutback. Phil Celso gets t that's two and two for him. Yeah, I mean Gio is performing really well in this preseason, really well. Um, it's nice just a little, question oh, of like where his head's at. Nice, nice flick by Solomon. Defender tries to cut it out. It just falls to Celso's path. And it falls perfectly for Gio. And he can just finish it. Just outside the six yard box and it's 4-1. Gio just instructed Richarlison just to let it go for him. And he slots it into the net. 4-1 to Spurs. A nice tackle there from Lo Celso.
climb Ange now. Take off uh, Perisic and give Divine a run out. Move Solomon over to the left. Yeah, I wouldn't be against that. What more can you learn from Perisic? You know, you know who Perisic is. You know what I mean? Mm. We definitely know who he is. Here's Tanganga to Dyer. Hoybier. Regulon. Perisic again on the left hand side. Looking for Lacelso, but an interception. And a long ball forward, and Tanganga wins it. Only as far as Hoybier. Emerson now. Here's Jaff. Here's Lacelso. Perisic to Hoybier. With a long ball forward, looking for Skip. It's over his head, but it's going to fall to Richarlison with a volley <laughs> on the edge of the box, and he's uh, put it over the bar. Big up 2,000 likes, guys. Come on, Absolutely people. Absolutely unbelievable from the We Are Tottenham Army. We love every single one of you. 15 minutes to go. Can we get 1,000 more in 15 minutes? There's plenty of you in there. At least half of you have not liked. All you have to do is scroll down and smash that like. Costs you absolutely nothing, so why not? 15 minutes to go. Let's go. Let's get another goal, Tottenham. Here's Reggie. Bursting down the left-hand side. He's got Perisic to one side. He finds Hoybia on the other. Dyer. Dyer scanning the pitch. Oh, skips in a bit of space. Solomon. Oh, it's a good tackle. Yeah, it's just it's all really apart from that, apart from the fourth goal, it's all really come down the left. That's where the uh action's been. Hasn't yeah. really haven't really uh, felt the uh impact on the right hand side yet. Solomon he could, the problem with Solomon is he keeps having to having to go on the outside all the time. Here's Perisic on his left foot, crosses it to the back post, flick over the keeper, it's going to fall to Regulon, and it's over the bar, it's going to be a corner. <coughs> Apparently there's breaking news saying Joe Lewis has surrendered to the US authorities after being indicted on charges of insider trading. Um, we heard that yesterday. Not well. I guess they're reframing it, but the, his lawyers already said that he's in the US to to deal with it. Right. You know what I mean, so I guess you can say how he surrendered, put it that way. But we we heard that from his lawyers yesterday. A long oh. range shot, and it's going to be another corner from Regulon. That was a nice strike from Regulon. Without the flick, is this on target? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think probably. it is on target. It's going to be a corner. All the twos, 2,222. Two Big up to each and every one of you. Celso's corner into the area. Flicked on. Richarlison's there over his head. And it's going to be a goal kick. And we're approaching the final 10 minutes of this game. It's been a much easier second half than it was the first half. Definitely thanks to a few gifts from uh, yeah. the, the Sailors. Definitely for both Richarlison's goals, that's for sure. And it's a goal kick. And another substitute. They're making a double substitution. The Sailors, the keeper, is going off. They're substituting their keeper to the last 10 minutes. And Pashia is coming on as well. Pashia. And if you don't know Pashia, you better get to know.
Yeah, I think it's a bit unfair to say that right now, JK, but he says that Rishi definitely suits Angie's system better than Kane. I hate to say it, but I don't think we'll miss Kane all that much in terms of an output from a player. I mean, you're always going to miss a lot when, when a player of Harry Kane's quality does leave. But I do agree in the sense that Rishi, maybe his style of play suits the system more than Harry Kane. Um, I think the way Kane's been playing, potentially, yeah. But I think you can make adjustments for that. I think it's all about um, uh, finding solutions with the team. And I think a player of Kane's quality is always going to be better than to have someone of Richarlison's quality, even though Richarlison likes to get in behind more than Kane. I think you can make adjustments for it. And I think a, a team with Kane in it is always going to be... A be even even though Richarlison likes to run in behind more, you can get either get Kane to run in, run in behind more or you can make adjustments to where if he, in the occasions he does drop deep, you've got someone filling in that space. Yeah, that's absolutely right. But I feel like with Richarlison there, it might hurt us a bit less than maybe what it would have done. Skip away and a volley and a shot by the Sailors. First shot of the second Over the half. bar this time from the corner. Decent chance. Yeah, we've had 12 shots in this first half, in this second half, five on target. We had six on target in the first half with 27 attempts. Emerson to Tanganga. So how many shots this half? 16. 16. 12, sorry. 12. Dyer now. Emerson's flick, can't find it. Dyer has lost it, sliding in the middle of the park. And here come the Sailors on the break. Good challenge this time by Emerson and wins the ball back. And now Lacelso on the half turn gives it to Perisic, to Emerson. And now Regulon and Tottenham slow it down a bit. Dyer to Tanganga. Dyer. Here's Regulon. Perisic, nice flick inside to Lacelso, who plays it back to Regulon. Perisic with a flick looking for Lacelso and it's lost, but Richarlison, can he pick up? It's going to be a, it's foul. a foul. So after this, we actually have to wait quite a while till uh, the next home, the next uh, friendly. The next friendly will be against Shakhtar Donetsk, which is about 10 days away, a week and a half away. I don't get this scheduling of the friendlies from Spurs. Yeah, like, why don't we have one on the weekend? I don't know. Why do we have to wait 10 days to a friendly? And then once we do play that friendly, we've got another one two days after that. This makes no sense. Uh, Tottenham in their planning. Long boy over the top. Here's Perisic. Oh, cuts inside. And he crosses it to the back post, but it's over here and it's cleared away. Here's Skip. The Celso. Emerson, skip, Solomon, skip, Solomon in there, oh, <laughs> nearly an own goal, but gone straight to the keeper. Uh, Sean is asking where the Shakhtar game is, it is at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. A week on Sunday or a week on Saturday, I'm not sure. Um, I think Sunday. I think two o'clock on Sunday. All right, here we go. Reggie putting the afterburners on. He's going to find Perisic inside. Here we go. Out to Emerson. Back to Dyer and Spurs just playing it around now. Tanganga, Emerson, back to Tanganga. He's got Eric Dyer on the halfway line, right on the centre spot. Here's Giovanni into Perisic, back to Gio Richarlison, and that's cut out, and it's found its way back to Ooh, Giovanni. Nice flick. Flick from Perisic to Regulon. And he tried to find Perisic. Oh, into corner. No, foul. Free kick. Foul. Shame. Oh, 
All right, throw into Spurs. Skip, take, is take quickly, skip to Hoybier. Hoybier to Regulon. Here's Lo Celso. Can he turn into Perisic? He flicks it into Hoybier. Touch into Lo Celso. Tanganga to Hoybier. Tanganga. Hoybier again. Lo Celso. Nice ball out wide. Here's Perisic. One on one with the fullback. He goes on the outside and his cross is blocked. <laughs> Corner to Spurs. Six minutes left. The possession stats, as some people are asking, for the whole game is 75% possession to Spurs. In this half, it's been 81% possession to Spurs. Here now, Regulon to the back post and away. Here's Lo Celso. Now Hoybier. Hoybier to Emerson in the half space. Back to Dyer, who's up there. Regulon to Richarlison, who's probably desperate for his hat trick. Here's Perisic now. Skip. The Celso. Now wide to Perisic. Can he get a cross in? He pulls it back. His skip. Tanganga. Now wide to Solomon. Now Lo Celso with a flick to Emerson. Back to Lo Celso, but it's got away from him. Lo Celso to Emerson, though. Here's Solomon. Skip. Hoybier. The more says that. Skip. Oh. He did yeah. turn himself in um, to federal authorities this morning. Mm. Um, so that's what uh, you were alluding to before. Actually, it's not because those reports came out late last night. Well, his um, one sec, Perisic shot. His lawyers yesterday said that he's voluntarily gone to America, to so maybe he's officially done it this morning. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah. Crazy situation. It is, it is pretty nuts, to be fair. All right, what we got? Subs. God, that, that one looks like a kid, 71. Flow Gaming is saying, what is the Juan Campa Cup final that we're playing against Barcelona? Well, it's a uh, pre-season cup um, that Barcelona are playing in every single season. So it's basically like Barcelona's version of the Emirates Cup, essentially. Very prestigious. Here's Tanganga to Lo Celso, to Hoybier, to Lo Celso, back to Dyer. Game is ticking down, not too long left now. Hoybier to Perisic on the left hand side. Here's Hoybier. Big switch of play to Solomon. Now skip. Apparently Liverpool have bid 45 million for Lavia. Now Dyer. Hoybier. Oh, nice ball by Hoybier. Skip can't take it in his stride, though. Oh, but I'm not mistaken. Hoybier pounces and Tottenham on the attack here. Richarlison in behind on the Ref, right side. Is that come a foul? On. Oh, referee says no. This ref has been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> should have had two more penalties in the first half than we probably should have had. The dives that have been going on. Here's Regulon though. Into Perisic. Now Lo Celso. Nice flick by Perisic into Emerson. And Lo Celso can't flick into Richarlison. Does win it, but gives it to D Skip. Hoybier. 
Emerson. Emerson to Solomon. Marcelso, nice quick one touch play from Spurs. And now there's a foul. <laughs> foul off the ball by Solomon, apparently. Ugh, this ref is. Can't stand him. <laughs> we are into the final minute of the 90, so you don't have to enjoy him for much longer. I think this game has definitely had more of a pre-season feel to it than uh, than maybe other games that we've seen in pre-season so far, especially with the the Premier League lineups that we've seen. Mm. Goal, it's a free kick from the goalkeeper. I doubt there'll be much added time, to be honest, at the end of this half. Not a great kick from him. And Hoybier flicks it back into Dyer. 30 seconds of normal time remaining. Nice play by Lacelso. Sweeps it out wide to Tanganga. Now Regulon on the halfway line in the centre circle. And now Lacelso. Uh, Hoybier Emerson nice flick oh. Steven Richarlison's in Gorish. and it's yeah. a hat -trick. come on hat trick Five for Richarlison for now the chicken the pigeon dance it. comes out once again wow nice play last kick last probably well we've still got four minutes of added on time actually, oh four but, minutes but a really nice through ball Rishi takes it in his stride lovely little dink over the keeper and it's 4-1 Pru Pru 5-1 sorry let's go Nice little flick by Rishi's Emerson. just warming up for the season. Lovely, lovely little dink finish. Pass the last defender. Easy does it. Bam. Five. And a hat trick for Rashad. Come on, Rishi. Lovely stuff. Easy does it. Foster Coglu with a muted celebration there. Yeah. Mason didn't even clap. But that should probably be that from this game, unless we can squeeze one more goal in there. That's Richarlison's best goal of the lot, though, that's for sure. Yep, nice little, yep, one that wasn't technically gift gifted to him this mm. time. It was actually a nice little run and little finish pass to keeper. Richarlison hat trick. Who would have thought? Oh, dearie me. What is that from the Sailors? Is that that free kick from the Sailors was reminiscent of Giovanni against Everton. <laughs> Hoybier to Lo Celso. Is there a chance for one more? And oh, it's what a ball. ball. Here's Perisic onside. Crosses it in looking for Skip. And he can't find him. How did we concede a goal to this team? I don't know. It's ridiculous. And now they're stopping play for an injury. Emerson, actually. Emerson's down injured. Too many injuries in this game. Let's hope the Sumer's all right, by the way. He did uh, mm. pull up in that first half, or at the end of the half, anyway. Still down, Emerson. Anything else going on? Lovely little flick there. Showing it again from Richarlison. Well, he actually scored five goals today. Emerson's put the ball in the back. Um, Richarlison's put the ball in the back of that five times. Two of them offside. Wasn't nice finishes in there. Wasn't quite the 27 nil maybe we were expecting before no, kickoff. Not quite, <laughs> but we'll take the 5 1, I think. 30 seconds of the game left. Here's Dyer to Lo Celso. Nice sliding challenge, but he actually ends up losing the ball. And a ball over the top. Reglon's got this, though. And that's going to be a foul. 
That should be that, guys. 20 seconds left. Any time now, five seconds, his skip. And it is over. Come on, what a team. Spurs have won five goals to one here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is finished. 5-1, Richarlison with a hat-trick. Let's get in. Well, just before we do, I just want to say thank you to everyone for tuning in today. Monstrous numbers once again for the likes and the viewers. Uh, before we go on to the instant match reaction, please do hit that subscribe button on our brand new channel, On The Ball, which is in our description. And also have a look at the shop, if you fancy, which is pinned to the top of the chat. But thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. Let's get in to our post-match reaction. <laughs> What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here. Star City Sailors 1, uh, Lion City Sailors 1, and Tottenham Hotspur 5. Hat-trick from Richarlison, a goal from Giovanni Lo Celso and Harry Kane with the penalty. We did go 1-0 down in this game, quite surprisingly, which was poor defense, defending, especially from Pedro Porro. But, I mean, it didn't. that didn't really tell any of the story of the game. Possession was really high. Attempts were really high. I think we had 27 shots on goal in that first half. But... We we were kind of restricted to taking pop shots from outside the box with Madison really orchestrating things in that first half. Um, I thought we, we really struggled to break them down in that first half with poor end product. Kulisevsky and Madison were really running that show in that first half. But why couldn't we break, that, break them down that first half? Yeah, I thought the quality from the wide areas wasn't, uh, especially from Sons on the left-hand side, wasn't particularly fantastic. I thought Kulisevsky was causing a nuisance down the right foot. More often than not, he was um, on his right foot and the quality on his right foot, um, quite crossing-wise, couldn't really create too many chances. And centrally, we, we were taking a lot of shots. We weren't trying to break the lines, I felt, um, in the central areas. We were just taking a lot of shots from outside the box. And we nearly came off a couple of times. But at the end of the day, um, they were defending very deep. And we couldn't really break them through. They actually didn't make too many mistakes. And that definitely changed in the second half. They were gifting us goals. And that definitely helped us on our way to a 5-1 victory. First half, though, it being 1-1, I don't think... 1-1 uh, was a fair reflection of the first half, but we definitely weren't creating too many combinations in the final third. We were very much relying on individual ability. Um, for example, Madison or, or Kulisevsky dribbling past a couple of players to open up the space. And it wasn't great, um, albeit it was very offensive and we were creating opportunities, but it wasn't um, the best half of football from Tottenham. Yeah. Absolutely spot on. But, you know, we were saying before the game against an opposition like this, you can't take too much away from it. But look, at the end of the day, it's not going to stop us uh, reading and analysing everything into the game. So I think first half was a bit of a letdown in terms of the scoreline because we go into half time 1-1 with Kane only equalising on the stroke of half time. I think it was a 94th minute of uh, the fourth minute. Sorry, the 44th. 49th minute, so fourth minute of stoppage time. Second half was completely changed 11, a bit similar to the game against West Ham. You just saw us really stamp our authority. We got two goals in the first 10 minutes of that second half. Richarlison capitalising on some really poor defensive errors from the City Sailors. And it was really just one-way traffic from there. And I think Spurs uh, were really good. Perisic and Giovanni Lo Celso really uh, stamping their authority on the game. And I thought they were the best two players on the pitch on the day. Richarlison getting himself a hat-trick and uh, the floodgates just seemed to open in after those first five minutes of the second half. Yeah, as soon as that first goal went in, you knew it was going to be pretty plain sailing from then. I think the City Sailors had one shot that whole half. It was very easy to pen them in and be a bit relentless. I think having a fresh 11 as well in terms of energy... Um, when the Sailors, I think, maybe started to tire, would definitely help um, just be physically dominant over them. And they started to make some really poor errors. The first goal, um, you know, the, the two uh, Sailors players leaves it for each other and ends up falling to Rashad, um, to Lo Celso, who was able to capitalise and it falls to Rashad. And second goal, long throw by Perisic. It let, they, the defender lets it bounce in the box and then tries to head it back to the keeper, but weakly, and Rashadson pounces. And it was very easy, uh, easy does it. And I think the left-hand side was very much uh, the dominant side on the, in the second half. Lo Celso, Regalon and Perisic linking up with each other really, really well. 
they didn't really see the same link up between Emerson, Skip and Solomon on the right hand side albeit the fourth goal did come from that uh, right hand side Solomon did really well to get to the byline cut it back and then um, a slight deflection off a, a sailor defender falls to Lo Celso and he makes it 4-1 um, but it was uh, it was almost like a training game at some point uh, but for the most second half it was just Tottenham passing it around trying to break the lock and trying to create opportunities without much resistance to be honest and um, it was only a matter of time before we got that fifth goal nice little flick by Emerson into the path of Richarlison nice touch in behind a little dink finish into the far corner that gave him his hat trick after he had two disallowed goals before that as well so it was a look it was an easy game for Tottenham. It was good for the fitness levels. Good just to learn more how to play Andrew's system. But the level of opposition was clearly um, lacking in this game. Yeah, and that definitely shone through in the second half, didn't it? Where mistake after mistake was happening in that back line for the City Sailors. Uh, like I said before, look, you can't really learn or read too much into the game. It was mainly just about a fitness regime today. But um, I think it was still good to see Spurs back on the pitch, see Spurs score some goals. But it definitely had more of a training feel to this game than it did maybe against West Ham, where you saw really full-blooded challenges going in and stuff like that. And on top of that, the referee was just absolutely um, shocking today, to be honest. But look, we move on. There's not another friendly game now for about 10 days when we take on Shakhtar at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Then two days after that, we do take on Barcelona in our final friendly before the season kicks off. So the Barcelona friendly will be, I think, five days before the big kickoff of the Premier League against Brent. Brentford, but we do win this game five goals to one so let me know your thoughts of the game in the comment section below and uh, thank you everyone for tuning in today like subscribe and comment and as always come on you spurs, spurs.